So give us a sense of the priorities for the bank right now as countries emerge from the pandemic. We focused on our financing for development at this stage. While we support the countries in fighting against the pandemic, we still focus on the infrastructure for tomorrow. But out of this infrastructure for tomorrow projects, we pay uh, increased attention to climate change financing to deal with the climate change uh, 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 threats. So we are doing fine, and our members, as you know, growing from 57 to 105, and we stick to our mandate. Uh, some of your member nations are deep in debt, the likes of Pakistan. We know that MDBs don't usually partake in debt restructuring. Might uh, AIIB think of taking part in debt restructuring if that arises? We certainly follow the debt sustainability problems of some of these members very closely. Our bank is seven years into operation, and we have provided financing for basic infrastructure for tomorrow. We process each and every project with due diligence, and uh, I'm, I can tell you all of the projects we're financing are very uh, doing very well. Our bank's main job is to provide new financing. Uh, we are with them when they are need us, when they need us. So I think our role is to help them uh, deal with the financial crisis and the debt problems and help them walk out of the woods. Uh, the president, I'm not that, clear, so, I, I, so, Go ahead, Rish. Uh, I was going to Will you will you then get involved with some of these refinancing needs of these countries? Because you have to look at the bigger picture, or is it just simply that you are only interested in the projects that you have helped to get off the ground? We we are creative, we are innovative, and if it is necessary for us to refinance some of the projects, we will do it. I think a case in point is uh, our support to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is making progress in its negotiation with International Monetary Fund, and we uh, repurposed uh, the financing for Sri Lanka to help them import uh, the vaccines which were delayed due to short of foreign exchange. Yep, yeah, okay, so, so that's one part of it. So uh, how are you at the moment uh, after the pandemic or with the pandemic of course still uh, perhaps taking its toll on what's going on in China how are you finding funding from the various countries with regards to getting new infrastructure and other projects off the ground President Jin uh, the demand is uh, is uh, getting increased with a lot of countries uh, uh, successfully dealing with the pandemic and I think uh, uh, the uh, demand for our financing for infrastructure for tomorrow and particularly financing for renewables, uh, renewable energy and to deal with climate change uh, is, is very much important. And I think we are working with all of them to enhance our help to them. Uh, President Jin, infrastructure spending back being a priority uh, for China, with GDP underperforming, performing below par. How does China find the money to find to fund its infrastructure projects? We know that local governments are short of money. Uh, give us a sense of how you're looking at it as the former vice uh, minister of finance for the country. Uh, the Chinese uh, infrastructure development of the last four decades are. Uh, has made a lot of difference in the Chinese economy. And I think uh, uh, moving forward, China may need to build infrastructure further into the hinterland uh, uh, areas. So far, the Chinese economy is concerned, and I think uh, uh, it, it is resilient. And I, I think uh, China would be able to handle uh, some of the local government debt problems. Uh, we, we believe uh, China would be able to uh, handle uh, their problems on their own. Um, President Jin, you, you are opening a, an office, I believe, in Abu Dhabi. Is that going to be the last of the ones outside of China, or are you planning others? Because I've been mean, talked that you are looking at London and possibly one in India. Uh, Abu Dhabi is the first overseas hub we plan to build up, and uh, this is very much important for our uh, outreach to the uh, climate countries in, in this region. As you see, Ab Ab Abu Dhabi enjoys the geographical proximity and within a radius of three or four or five uh, hours flight, 
and our staff can be on the ground. So this is the first uh, hub, and we are doing this on an elementary basis, uh, uh, experimental basis, and and with the need uh, coming up uh, uh, as we move forward, we may contemplate uh, building uh, hubs elsewhere, but it would uh, have to wait for a while for us to see how this Abu Zabi hub is going to work.